Hey guys, this is Tyler with Tyler's Dragon Tarot. So, today I'm going to be doing a all Zodiac sign video in this, whatever. I fucked that introduction up. Okay, so I'm doing all the signs in this video, and the description, I'll put the, the timestamps in the description. Man, my mind ain't working. Should I already, should I even be doing this? Anyway. So, I was thinking about what I should do this video on, and it just kind of came to me, um, why isn't this working? I was like, it came to me, but then I lost, but I wrote it down, so it's okay. Anyway, so, I'm going to put this up here so I can write it down. Uh, we're going to do Aries first. Too many cards. Let's do one at a time. Why isn't it working? Okay. So, with this card, A lot of big cats in here, lions. Um, so you might be dealing with a Leo, but um, I got Aquarius out of the background in this one because there's a bunch of stars with the candles. I'm kind of feeling fire sign, but candles are also kind of airy um, for some reason. I don't know why I feel that way, but. Maybe it's because they blow a direction. I don't know. Anyway, well, fire needs air. So, um, you, uh, feel like it's either fire or air. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Somebody, either you or them, is just giving too much to really make this work. And the other person is just, like, riding the, like, gifts and just being like, yep, that's what I'm doing. That's what I want. But I feel like this is you, you're too scared to do it alone, though, to actually leave, leave. And that's why you're not leaving. But why it's not working is somebody is just taking and somebody's just giving. And, you know, at some point, this person who's holding up the other person is just going to break. I feel like the unappreciated person is starting to even, like, this is speaking to me as they're starting to look elsewhere, like, okay, who's going to appreciate me, even if it's not, even if it's not significant, as in physical, or even flirting, or even big, maybe it's small tokens of appreciation, or like, just making little mental notes of it, like, yeah, this is what it, this is really working for me. They're appreciating me. So when this is done, maybe I'll go that way. Because you're a little, because the person, I feel like this is a person who is not being appreciated right now. They're a little scared and they kind of want that backup plan before they move on. So let's see. Anyways, I'm not going to lie. I kind of feel like you're the person who's giving. You can be very selfish, but you can also give away. I've talked to Aries who've just, like, got out of relationships, and they're like, I don't know what to do with myself now. Like, we always wanted to do this. We always wanted to do this. We always wanted to do And I'm like, what did you want to do? What did you want to do? And they're like, well, I wanted to do this, but, I mean, that wasn't in the plan. And it's like, okay, but now it can be, Right. You're on your own. You can do whatever the fuck you want. So, come on. And, you know, that's really weird because Aries are known for being so selfish and all that. Yet, we're really not that selfish. I mean, we need our needs taken care of. But if they're taken care of, we take care of the people in our lives. I don't think people understand that.
this is kind of if the big picture is too big for you try looking at it through bigger lenses which is weird I just imagine like okay so you don't know what you want to do okay well try being like five steps ahead try being just this giant by being like okay if I go here it's this I feel like it's just saying really plan it out really plan it out look I know you're sad over all this time invested and in, you know but it's, it's not growing anymore it's just it's stalled it's nothing it's starting to die and it might be time to give up which I know an Aries doesn't like that they want to fix it they're like okay it doesn't need more water does it need this what what can we do but sometimes it's just time to let it die you just gotta let it die to get your happiness you're gonna have to walk away the cups are broken the cups are broken they're no longer gonna hold your water they're no longer gonna hold your emotions they're no longer going to hold your happiness. Um, it's just not where you are anymore. And that's okay. That happens. You don't have to feel bad about that. If, it, if you're not happy, you're not happy. You don't have to force yourself to be happy. And we... What is this card? Temperance. I was just saying in the Sagittarius card. You might be dealing with the Sagittarius, but really it's about getting back into balance. See, you're pouring from one cup to another. So you're pouring from the gold cup to the silver cup. As an Aries, Aries is a very masculine sign. So gold is a masculine color and um, silver is the feminine color. So what I'm kind of getting out of this is... Okay, you're very in tune with your masculine side. It's about time to get in tune with your feminine side. To really find that balance and see who you are. Because Aries are emotional beings. They are very emotional. But they don't want to ex expose it. And it might be time to realize that exposing emotions aren't, isn't a weakness. It can actually be a strength if you can. I feel like this is for Aries who are just like, you can't talk about it, so you get pissed off and blow up. So it's time to go within, figure out how to express it so you can stop blowing up. Okay? And no judgment. I'm an Aries myself. I had to learn how to do this. Still working on it. But, um, you know... But yeah, I think that's your, and also, like, give to yourself. I looked back at this. Give to yourself. You are very important. You're very important to yourself. If you're not happy, you can't make other people happy, okay? You're going to drag them down with you. So, if you got a wandering eye, maybe it's time to wander. And I don't mean cheat, I mean... Leave the relationship and go find your happiness elsewhere because it's not here. Cheating will just make you feel like shit because Aries is an honest sign and you don't want to do that disloyalty stuff to yourself. You're just going to tear yourself up, okay? So if you really feel like wandering, leave the situation first. Don't just wander and come back. want to make that clear. I am not an advocate of cheating. But um, anyway... So next, we're going to go to the Taurus. Ooh, yes. All right, Taurus, why isn't this working? Whatever it is. Hopefully, y'all are doing good. Let's see. What can we get? Oop. You got the Ace of Coins. Ace. Yeah. Ace of Coins and the Page of Wands. 
So you're walking away from a new desire. You're So it's like you're having trouble deciding. Which I don't think it takes a Taurus very long. It's like once you make a decision, you're very stubborn on it. But um, right now you're trying to make the decision. Like, do you go with what you know? Yeah, that's what that is. Do you know with what you know with your safety net? Or do you go on this new exciting adventure that... Okay, I'm filling the energy bubble up. That you really want to go on. It's just not sure. It's not a... It's not a... Um, like this. You know what's going to happen. You know it's predictable. And while that may not be exciting, there's security in it. This. You have no idea where this is going to end up. And it's exciting. I don't know what the situation is to you, but I feel like the only reason you would want to stay in this one is for security of, like, you know what it is. But I think you're actually tired of the, whatever the situation is, you're actually tired of it. And while it does provide security, which you really like, this page of wands is really calling to you, and it's calling to you hard. It's a new sense of adventure, and you want to go on it. So what? Let's draw another card for each. Mm. So you got the... King of Coins with the Ace of Coins. I can't make this shit up. They're just popping out of the deck like this. Um, and of course, they're both looking in the other direction away from the page of, of Wands. So it's like, on the one hand, you have commitment, honesty. Kind of boring, but you know they're there for you. And this might be a job, this might be a... But I'm feeling like this. there's a sense of boredom here. Like it's... it's there's honesty and all that, but it's almost like you, you want something to shake it up there. You want something to shake it up just so you can feel a little happy. So with this page of wands, you got this strength card. You just want something... Okay. So while there's security and everything on this side, this side is just... It's exciting. It brings you happiness. It makes you playful. It brings you joy. And while this one is secure, this one, this side, the new beginning is just really alluring. Okay. See, I was trying not to say it, but I had something in my head, and I'm like, okay, is that me saying that, or is that a message? And now that the justice popped out, I'm going to say it. Are you being fair in this situation? Are you being fair? Is the new... Okay. So, is the grass greener on the other side just because somebody just watered it? Are you watering your grass? You know what I'm saying? Are you putting in the effort to make it fun? Are you doing things here to make it fun? Because while it's almost like this new situation is only enticing, I almost see like if you went down this road, and I'm not going to judge you for going down this road. I'm just saying what messages are popping in my head. That's all I'm doing. This, I'm laying out cards. This is current energy. It's your decision to go with whatever it is. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to read cards. So, but I do kind of feel like this page of wand energy, 
while enticing and exciting, like, you're going to end up in a moment where it's like, what the hell did I do? Okay, because there's two kings and an ace on this side. You gave up an energy that is an ace of coins, highly stable, blessing and money prosperous, just very grounded, this king of, uh, the king of coins and the king of swords, both known for being honest and just, um, real high integrity there for you if you need it, like, <laughs> I just heard, and you won't give it up for a booty call. Is that really what you want to do? Now, maybe this ends up good for you. Maybe it doesn't. I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to read the cards. I'm just saying, I feel like while this is very exciting at first, you're going to end up regretting it. But your decision. I'm just here to read cards. Now, I think I will. I want to get a clarifier for end results on both sides from this other deck. So... Let's get a clarifier end result for both sides. We'll start with the page of one side. Too many cards. I feel like a... Hmm. Okay, you got the Wheel of Fortune. So, maybe I'm wrong. But then again, this Wheel of Fortune isn't really turning, and she's looking back on what... I, that orb is kind of like, okay, like, you might be having fun, but you're going to be looking back on this situation. Let me make sure. Let me draw a card for the other side. What's a card for the other side, real quick? Princess of Cups. Okay, this is weird. I feel like you're going to have regret on either side. So I feel like the main advice here is... You need to pick something and not regret it because she's kind of holding that cup. She's got this very loyal cat at her side, very strong, you know, very trustworthy. This is a strong-ass cat that could destroy her in a second. And it's just letting her pet her right by her side, protective. She's got a cup that is filled, and she's still just, like, wanting more. But she's not talking about it. There's not real communication with it. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune over here. I'm going to draw another card for this side. I mean, it is the Wheel of Fortune, but I feel like it's you looking back. Because she's looking on the, in that crystal bar, the bar ball in this one. And it's just like, you're going to wonder what would have happened if you would have stayed. You know, maybe I'm misreading that Wheel of Fortune because you are looking back in that crystal ball. But maybe it's a, like, I hope you're doing well type of thing. Because the next cards that clarify it is the Seven of Cups, the Strength card, and the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a Taurus card, so it's like, are you feeling like yourself again now? 
I think that's it. You're feeling like yourself again. And you will miss these cups that you had. You will miss this situation. But you're going to make new cups. You know, new memories. You're still going to find happiness. And it's like, you you hang them up like, okay, I miss those. But if you notice, there's three up and there's four in a trail. And strength. I feel like that's saying it's going to take strength to leave this situation, but you're going to end up better on, at the other end. And I don't like saying that, but that's the me message I'm getting now. Like, if you are really that enticed, maybe you should do it. Because maybe you're just not happy. And I would say, I don't always give the advice to, like, Talk, communicate and work out first, but that's my own personal opinion. Um, but maybe you're going to end up happier on another side, right? Um, either way, I wish you the best. So let's go to Gemini. Hmm. This is good. All right, Gemini, we are doing Why Is This Not Working? So, we got the Seven of Swords here. It's not working because you can't stay in one place for too long. See, she's always wondering... And I feel like this was her ship. This was like her crew was there. And she's just like, nah, I'm tired of sea now. I'm going to go on land. Get my land legs back. Like, you, you can't stay in one place for too long. You can't even hone your skills. Did I flip a card? Six of Swords. You going from the Seven to the Six of Swords kind of makes me think, well, since the, uh, you're kind of going backwards. You're taking steps backwards here, you know? And since the King of Swords is kind of an honest, um, who just says the truth, maybe a little blunt, but they say the truth makes me think that with that you're distracting with pretty lights you're saying pretty things to you know you're telling tall tales to distract them from the ugly truth you're saying beautiful lies to distract <laughs> and this looks like a siren here with that temperance card. Like, normally that's about finding your balance and everything, but it's just like, I think you're too easily enticed by other things. Let's see. And honestly, I just got the message. It's because you can't find what makes you happy. So... You're still holding on to something that pierced your heart. You're getting over it, but you're still holding on to it. And I think that's why you can't stay in one place. Because what? it's like a trauma that just broke your heart. And I don't know if this is like a single relationship. This could be just like time after time after time after time. Like trust broken over and over and over again. So you're like, so you become bitter in time. Or this could just be one person that's really fucked you over. But. Yeah.
you need to let go of the weight because she can't she's trying to hold it up and those swords are pointing to her palms she's gonna get tired and have to put her arms down at some point and she's gonna slice her hands up she's gonna hurt herself trying to hold hold on to this burden it's only hurting you you're gonna have to let it go and if you let it go you'll get to this queen of swords energy where you actually want to be where you're peaceful calm where yes you're holding the sword but you got these butterflies you're transformed you're evolved you're you can be honest but you can see through people you don't need lies and deception anymore you can see through and you'll just be like you trust your instincts and you will cut them out if you don't need it anymore so Maybe some therapy, because this sounds like deep-rooted problems here, and I, you know, meditation's always nice, but this kind of sounds, the feel of this is like deep trauma, and I'm kind of like, that's more than I can advise on. Um, I can say, hey, I think you got it, but um, I, I'm kind of feeling like you might go to therapy here, and I'm not saying, I'm saying that as a person who's like, I'm kind of in your energy right now, and you need to work through some of this, and I hope you do. I genuinely do, and therapy would be a way for you to do it. I'm not judging you at all for this, because everyone carries their baggage. Some have light loads, and some have, like, crushing loads, so. Page of Wands. Time for a new adventure, time to open up those, uh a fresh start and time to start communicating about what you're passionate about, but I feel like this is your pain, what you're angry about. Yeah, that's more what this fire is about, what you're angry about, because you're pissed off about this, that all this stuff that's happening to you. Time to open up and communicate. Now, I'm not saying go kill people, but yeah, because with that seven of the swords there, that anger is just blocking you from getting anywhere. It's closing you in. It's squaring you up. Like, squaring you up. You can't go anywhere. So, it's your decision. Do you stay closed up and not really making any forward movement? Or do you move forward and improve yourself? You know, totally up to you. But I genuinely hope that you heal. And I wish you the best. All right, so we are going to, I believe Cancer is next. Is it Cancer? Yes, Cancer. Okay, we're going to go to Cancer. And I'm going to pause real quick to get a drink. Just for taking this card. All right, hey, Cancer, we're doing, why isn't this working? Why do I keep forgetting what we're doing? Because I usually draw cards randomly, that's why. Okay, thank you for answering that, by the way. Um, people who are not on here. Um, yes, I like to talk to myself, don't judge. Baby, get down. All right, so we got this card here. Um, so you're trying to decide what path you want to walk and I feel like it's not working because you're not making the decision of what do you actually want what do you want from this what do you want from life do you what are your goals that yin yang symbol just really popped. You're not balanced either. So um, get grounded. Maybe meditate a little bit. <sighs> Got candles going, and my cat's just insistent on jumping. <laughs> and it's like, you're going to burn this place down. But hmm. we got this Ricky ass looking card. So. I 
feel like you guys are kind of disappointed with where you are in life. And you're kind of looking back on your childhood and being like, okay, what did I want as a child? Or you should look back on your childhood and be like, what are you, what did I want as a child? Or try to look at it through a child's eyes because they are very curious. They are very like, they just want to do all the things. So if you make all the options available, then, okay, please, I love you, but I don't need a fire. Um, so oh my gosh, you are so needy right now. I'm trying to do a video. Sorry, my cat is being very needy. Um, in case y'all want to see, her name's Jasmine. She's a little shit, but, but, uh, where was I? Okay. But try to, I feel like you're just trying to figure out what you want. Because <laughs> you're kind of disappointed in where you are, which I mean. Okay. You don't recognize yourself when you look into the mirror. You're saying, is this really what I've become? Is this really who I am? Because this isn't who I was. Why Why am I this way now? Okay. So let's draw some advice from mermaids. Y'all like mermaids, right? Water signs, mermaids. I don't care. I like mermaids, so I'm drawing. And it felt like... Time to get your power back. The return of Aphrodite. I'm pretty sure Aphrodite is the goddess of love. And it's like, but they're holding that key. It's just like, okay, it's time to get your power back. And you are full of love and you deserve love. So it's time to be in a situation where you love where you are and you're getting that love back. Because you deserve it. So why... You need to treat yourself like you treat other people. I feel like you're a very giving person, very nurturing. That's usually cancerous traits. So treat yourself that way. If you're not getting treated, if you would see yourself, if you would see a friend in your situation and be like, what the fuck are you doing? You deserve so much better. Then tell yourself that, okay? Okay, now we got the card of freedom. I feel like there's just so much you always wanted to do that you haven't really gotten to do. And you're very restricted right now for some reason. Probably a very controlling uh, person you're with or just situation you're in. And all you want, I, I think you need to break free. I hate that I'm telling people to break up in this, but... I, it is a why isn't this working, so I guess it, that would happen. But it sounds like you're just, you either need to just say, hey, I need to do these things. And if you don't appreciate that, then bye. Or just say bye anyway. I guess it depends on where you are. Do you want to keep it? See if they'll respect the boundary once you say, hey, I really want to do this and I'm not happy. Or, I mean, it's up to you. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm saying that I'm holding the card of receptivity. So allow yourself to receive and give, okay? So you're always giving. So allow yourself to receive. You deserve it, okay? You deserve it. For all you know, this person might not realize that it was that important to you. You know, they might be like, oh, I didn't realize I was being such an ass or a bitch or something, I guess, I shouldn't. A jerk? I don't know. Maybe I'm too, uh, too okay with those words, but whatever. Um, but... 
Because I feel like I offended some of you guys with that. I wasn't trying to. It's just like they didn't realize they were wrong, okay? Um, they just... Maybe they just needed uh, you to stand up for yourself. So, anyway. We are moving on to Leo. 30. Dragon Terror. Okay. All right, Leo. Why isn't this working? Why isn't this working for Leos? Okay, well, I guess that card's coming out. Um, okay, you've been stuck trying to make a decision. Do you move on? Do you not? Do you? What do you do here? But what you don't realize is you're trying to get a fair situation, a fair outcome out of this, but the scale is broken. You're not, no matter... And the longer you hold on to this, the more broken it's going to become. The more broken it's going to become, the more unfair it is to you and to the other person. You are holding on to, look, you're holding on to a blade instead of by the hilt. You're holding on to the sword by the blade instead of by the hilt. Uh, so you're sitting here like, and I feel like this is like mental cuts. You're getting anxiety over a situation where, you can be in control of it, but you feel like you have no control into a Leo that is very important. So, why are you giving up your control to this situation? That's really why this isn't working, because you're letting the anxiety take over instead of just chasing where you want to be happy. Instead of being what... This isn't making you happy. Instead of going where dropping all this shit and just being happy... I mean, because, see, we got this King of Wands energy over here. It's like, doesn't necessarily mean that you would have to go after somebody, but um, this could just be like, if you drop all this stuff, you could be in this energy, or, like, you have an option that is this energy, but they're not looking at you because it's either the energy is unobtainable to you, or this king of wands isn't looking at you because you're stuck. I mean, they're a king. They don't want to be with the two. Um, <laughs> and I feel like that was really offensive to you guys. But you guys need... If you're in this energy, you kind of need a slap in the face. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You're a Leo. Um, I guess I just have high respect for Leos. But um, I know a lot of them. And I don't know. I like them. I vibe with them very well. But I'm an Aries, so, but it's like, why are you overthinking? Why aren't you going after happiness? Why are you letting someone bring you down? Why are you letting this build up anxiety to a point of probably depression? If you're that upset, drop it. Because you're not going to be able to get into this energy where you're happy. You have everything you desire. You just say it and it comes to you. Like... You know? <laughs> King of Cups. Also, not looking at this. It's like you're looking... This one is looking at these two, but they're not looking back. King of Cups. In touch with their emotions. Actually being able to communicate them. Um, actually being able to have a good conversation. And not just leave you hanging. Because, like... Here you are here, the lone wolf, trying to get to that point. Okay. I feel like saying this, and I don't know if this is every Leo, but I have two Leo friends that are like this, and it's like, you have got to stop expecting people to change because if they don't want to change, they're not going to change. And people just don't change. Stop thinking... Oh, if they would just be like this, it, then they'd be perfect. Maybe they're perfect for someone else. And they're just not perfect for you. So you need to quit um, thinking about their inadequacies in your relationship and just find someone who is adequate or not even adequate. That is actually a good match for you in your relationship. <sighs> 
So, you know, I know one of those Leos watched this, so it's like, girl, I know you say you're happy, but <laughs> didn't mean to rant too hard. I hope you stay happy. Sounds like it's getting better, but mm -hmm. if this if this uh, resonates with you, maybe you should think about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nine of Wands. You're getting in your own way. Okay, so let's. I guess advice. Let's do. No, not you. Yes, you. Okay. So we're going to do advice with this jerk. Huh. The Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So with this, Ten of Pentacles. It's already established. There's already something there. And that's why it's not hard. It's hard to, um, it's hard to, um, leave. Or it's hard to make a decision to change. Especially, Leo is a fixed sign. So they have, uh, fixed signs in general have trouble with change anyways. Um, it's really the cardinals and the mutable signs that are better with that. Um, but with this card, I don't know how well you can tell, but they're really not that happy in that situation. And a 10 is usually some type of cycle coming to an end. So then we got this queen of pentacles and she's alone, but she's got roses coming out. She's got... Love letters. Is that love letters? No, they're just cards. Okay. I thought they were love letters, but she's got hummingbirds. She's got abundance, and she's genuinely smiling. So, kind of getting the vibe that you might be better off alone, and you might even get a better love offer, because that is a rose, um, than what you got now. And, yes, it is established, and you've been there for a while, but sometimes... Shit just stops working. Okay. So next, we are going to Virgo. Why? Let's see. 43. Um, this deck. Yes. All right, Virgos. Why isn't this working? So... Nine of Wands. It's not working because <laughs> somebody's being selfish. Either, either somebody's being selfish or it's just all this is planted and they took this stick and it's like, well, I'm taking my stick. It's just time to move on. It's very stubborn. Like, there's just no cooperation. The feeling is no cooperation. So that's where I got uh, selfish. But it's like, the decision's been made. Like, I'm done. Like, bye. Somebody is in that energy. Like, they're mad. And they're just like, I I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. So... Yeah. And see what this, uh, is this a, I'm not sure if this is a king or a knight of swords, but whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm going to read it how I'm going to read it. Um, he, he's still got a hold of his sword. So it's like he can pick it up for defense, but it's like he's showing, okay, I'm done fighting. I am no longer fighting this was exhausting and I'm done it's been too much don't make me pick this back up because I'll kick your ass like but like it's a real face of uh don't get me started but like I'll stop if you stop but don't get me started 
Then we got this ten of coins. It looks so happy. I was like, why is this here? It looks so happy. And then I just heard the love. It's there because the love isn't there anymore. Like, you were so happy at first. <laughs> then it's like looking there and he's just alone with his dog. Like, it's like, you'd rather just be with the dog. Like, the it's just not there anymore. Like, you just not, you, you don't feel it. It's not prosperous. It's not doing it. And it's time for this cycle to come to an end. I don't really know that there's... Okay, so I guess let's draw a card for advice. Seems like yours is pretty cut and dry. Okay, so quit overthinking it. Easier said than done, right? But you see, all those swords, all the ideas just in your head, in your face, constantly thinking about is getting in the way of action. It's time to, it's time to take action. Like, you fuck... You're overthinking it to the point of you can't make a decision. Pick one of those swords up and go. And it's funny. As I said that, the chariot was at the bottom of the deck. It's time to go. And see, you got the eight of coins here. It may... Oh, those are seven. My bad. But, um... Which is funny because the seven is the chariot. Um, but... Like, this tree is dying. Like, it was once prosperous. It had gold on it. But it's time to dig it up. It's time it, it's time to start over. It's, it's done. It's done. I really hate that this is like a breakup episode. But, like, you already knew this. Like, I came into this being like, oh, you're done. Okay. Um, well, good luck to you. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to take a quick break and then we'll go to Libra. Hey, Libra. So, we are, what are we doing? Man, this might not have been the best day to do a video. <laughs> Why is this not working? Um, whatever. Why is this not working? Okay. Well, that's confusing as hell. You got the Ace of Cups, so we're going to have to have a clarifier on that. Um, maybe you're getting a better offer somewhere else. Okay, why is this not working? You got the Ace of Cups, and you got the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands... There's happiness and stability in that card. Like, what? Okay. You got the Three of Swords now. Okay, so... Even though it makes you happy, and even though... There's stability and there's passion on both sides and you can't get enough of it. You're scared. There's something about them that makes you fearful that they're just going to break your heart. I was, I was just going to end it there, but again, really popped out. Again. Like they've already broken your heart. And you're like giving them a second chance and you're trying to be forgiving. But... You're scared they're going to break your heart again. <laughs> With this judgment card. You can't help but judge them. <laughs> you can't help but be like... So, like, on your hands, you got a white pebble and a black pebble. And your fate, it's like you're trying to look at both sides, but your face is still like, mm -hmm. like, like, I don't believe your shit. But when you think about it, it's like you call them out for their shit when they're talking. But if they're just, 
It's like, you, when they're talking, you don't believe them. But when you think about it, it's okay. That king of swords. You just can't trust the word they say. You're, you're just like, you're no king of swords. You, you are not honest. You just... How am I supposed to trust you when you're not... Sorry, I got to sneeze. <coughs> How am I supposed to trust you when you haven't been honest? Am I just supposed to believe you're all of a sudden going to be honest? Okay. So, we're going to draw... Advice. Yeah, this deck. Okay. Tower. <laughs> oh my god, the Tower. Another breakup. Yeah, you got the tower and the six of swords. The letting, letting it go. Well, now I'm starting to think that the tower is about you stop overanalyzing it. You need to... So you need to either make the decision about if you can or cannot trust them. If you can trust them then let go of the trust issues if they're actually worth a second chance. But if you can't trust them, then this isn't really a second chance, is it? It's just a chance to torture them, and you need to let it go because it's torturing you too. And with that hermit, I think you need to take some time and really think about it. What do you want? Is this working for you? So, take time to yourself and get your own answers. Because I feel like in the moment, you're not thinking clearly. And then you try to overcompensate for overreacting. So, why don't you take time to yourself and just figure it out. Okay, so next is Scorpio. Why isn't this working, Scorpio? The star. It's not what you want. As much as you're enjoying it, as much... I feel like I'm hearing, why isn't it working? Like... It checks off the list, but it's just not what I want. Well, if it's not what you want, it's not what you want. Ace of Cups. It's just not... It's like you're happy, but you're not overwhelmingly happy. You know, like you've been happier before. And it's just like... I can almost be happier by myself than I can in this situation. I mean, I'm okay, but, like, should I get, should I even give up my freedom for this? Because, like, they're good to me, they're fun, but I'm just not happy. You feel like they're getting in the way... There's just not a higher... You're you're capped out. There's just not a higher level that you can go. There's just not. You can't go any higher with this. You can't feel any more things for them that you should be feeling. And with this card, the Deceiver, you're lying to yourself thinking, okay, maybe I just haven't put enough time in. Maybe we just haven't hit that moment. Maybe we just haven't hit that milestone. But Scorpio, I'm just going to say, I don't know Scorpio very well, but the message popped in my head. You're a very passionate sign. And I feel like it's usually like, you might hide in your shell for a little bit. You might not say it. You might be careful about expressing it. But you're very intense. So I bet, I mean, you're the other side of Aries. You're 
Aries and Scorpio both ruled by Mars, so it's like, I bet that shit hits you hard and intense, so if it hasn't hit you hard and intense, it's just like, this is too calm, like, what is this? Like, this is nothing. So, yeah, that King of Pentacles, you're happy you're alone, so... Don't drag them along any longer than you should, you know? If you're not happy, you're not happy. Okay. I'm going to check. I'm going to take a short break. i got to blow my nose. Hey, Sagittarius. Let's see what's uh, why this isn't working. All right. Your cards are just popping out. Dropping like the hot or something. That's too old of a reference, isn't it? I know. I'm an old man. Whatever. The universe. Um, Ten of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, so we got two cards that's just kind of like screaming at me. It's... Okay, so very well. You could be getting... You just... No, this isn't working. It's like, why isn't this working? Because you just know. Like, you just you just know it's not working. What's the issue? <laughs> like, I'm a smart person. I just know it's not working. I, I can't give you details. I just know it's time to move on. It's time to the next thing. It's time. Because I put in all this work. I'm not getting anything out of it. So that's really the main reason. Like, it's time to move on. Yeah, the Empress. I feel like this is like a situation where it's like you put in all this nurturing energy and you're not getting anything back. It's like it hatched and it's just like it's not growing up. It's not getting anywhere. Um, and it's like, okay, like I don't mind being nurturing, but I'm not looking for a baby, you know? Yeah, the will of fortune. It's like it's time. Off. It's time to. It's just time to go on to the next thing. And temperance, because you just you don't feel like yourself. Because that's the card of Sagittarius. You don't feel like yourself. It's time to relax a little bit and get your energy back up before the next adventure. Really. So, no. Huh. You just know it's not working. And that's as simple as that is. Pretty simple, straightforward, easy. Like it. Capricorns. Fifty eight Capricorns. Do I even have any Capricorn followers? Because, like, apparently Capricorns aren't real big on like zodiac signs and stuff. But I'm just curious. But I'm still gonna do your reading. So, why isn't this working, Capricorn? You feel like you're above the situation. Like you're too good for what you're getting. And you're just like, all right, it's time for me to rise. Because I'm not going to sit here and waste my time anymore. All right. Yep, you're like, well, where's the next adventure? Where's my next place to go? I don't know. The world is my oyster, and I don't have to settle, so I'm not going to. Yeah, with these cards, it's like, I got the world in my hands right now. And you can beg for me all you want, and I'll appreciate the attention, but... I'm not, I'm not going to stay. I'm just not. Because I can get whatever I want, and it's just not you right now. It's just not you. Straightforward and harsh, but, you know, whatever. So, advice. I don't think you need advice, to be honest. I think we're done. Like, it's just like, yep, that's what it is. I, I pretty much think your advice is just the... 
Okay. Go on your next journey. Just do it. You know... You know you're not getting what you're worth here, so move on. Simple as that. All right, so Aquarius is next. Hopefully, I still have a good Aqua following. I know I had some in the beginning. I tend to be a little harsh on you guys. Um, I don't mean to be, but I'm kind of a reader who I'm like, okay, like if I have a if I have a reading where it's like get your shit together then I'll say it, and I feel like Aquarius gets a lot of those. But, um, okay, so you got the deceiver. Why isn't this working? You got the deceiver. So you're either not being honest about something or someone's not being honest with you. One of the two. I don't know. See, it says Aquarius is, I'm not going to call any of you guys out personally because I don't know what else was in their charts. But they say Aquarians are supposed to be honest. I've known some lying ass Aquarians though. I don't know what else was in their charts, okay? Because, you know, you got a nail chart and all, all kinds of stuff influences it. But, like, and most people just know their sun signs, but I'm just saying. Could be you. Could be the. You could be being deceived though. But then I'm kind of like, yeah, Aquarians usually, uh, they're pretty smart. I don't know. But, okay, and we got the Emperor here. So, you could be dealing with an Aries, because the Emperor is the card of Aries. And it seems like Aries and Aquarius match pretty well. Um, like, that, um... When you look on articles that are like the best Zodiac matches, I can't tell you how many times I've looked at that and Aries and Aquarius have been number one. And it's like, really? Mm. But <laughs> maybe I just picked a bad one. Um, should not be saying that on my channel. But anyway, I feel like I'm pulling too much into this. Okay, let me detach for a second. I'm going to pause it for a second. Let me detach. Okay, sorry. I really, when I do zodiac signs, I really have to try to be like, okay, I don't know, this isn't, this is for general readings and not for anyone I know, so, <laughs> had to detach for a second, because I'm like, oh, an Aquarius was an Aries, kind of, okay, so anyway, so, it could be an Aries, but it also could just be like, you're not getting your stability, you're not getting your, what you're worth, or you're not giving them what they're worth. And their stability that... It's like a false stability. And I think it's because, like, while someone's over here doing the work... Oh, shit, no. Someone's planting seeds somewhere else while you're waiting for them to come home. Or you're planting seeds somewhere else while... You're waiting... While they're waiting for you to come home. Because, see, there's two together over here with a whole bunch of cups. And here's you, just with that one cup, just like, I'm ready for you, like, where are you at? So that could be you or them. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know which one that is. I'm going to go with you are the one who's being deceived in this rating, just so I can try to be consistent. Um, yeah. It's like, there's all this work done and you feel like you're the only one who's put anything in. Yeah, Seven of Wands, it's like, this shit looks good. Like, it looks good. Like, on paper, when you're out in public, like, people are like, oh, they look good. Like, they, it's like they put on a good show. But you're just not impressed anymore, and you're just like... The High Priestess. Okay. Is that an actual... So that High Priestess looks like she's just tearing it down, like... Nah, I was better off before I met you. Like, I was better off before I met you. Oh my god, and the tower pops out. 
the tower pops out. Okay, Aquarius, know your worth. Know your worth, okay? If this is you who's deceiving, tower is about to fall, okay? They're going to fall on your ass because, you know, you're obviously not putting in what they deserve and they're seeing through it. But if you're the one being deceived, then, you know, I'm sorry, but looks like you're seeing through it and good for you because some people get fooled for a whole lifetime. And um, so put an end to it. Put an end to it. This tower is strong. It, it needs to fall. Put an end to it because you're worth better than that. If this, if you're the one being deceived, okay? Because straight, I feel like some of y'all are like, but maybe I should consider your perspectives because air signs are real good at that. They were like, well, why did they do that? And I'm kind of, you know, unique. maybe we could talk about it. Maybe we could talk it through. I don't know. Aquarius is, but I've also heard that Aquarius is usually like you screw one over and like they're not very forgiving. So hopefully you're not, there might be something else in your chart because I'm really being like, some of y'all are being like, maybe I should forgive them. Okay, look, you do you. I can't judge you. But I am reading this current energy, and it's like, that tower, look at that card. That tower is not crumbling down. It is tipping over. Like, it's not built on solid foundation at all. It is just like, it is fast, and it is crum it's not crumbling. It's just going boop. So, let it fall. All right. Sorry, guys. Um, so, sorry about that, Aquarius, but it's for your better good, okay? Like, you don't deserve to be in that situation. So, sending love and healing to you guys because that is a shitty-ass situation to be in, and I hope you guys get out of it, and I hope you end up better. So, let's see. Pisces. We are on to Pisces. Uh, let me write this down. Okay, Pisces, what deck should I... I feel like this deck. You guys like this deck? Hopefully, because you're getting it. So, uh, Pisces, what is happening with y'all? Why is this not working? So, this is for... I was just going to say I'm at Aries Pisces Cups. Like, I already said this is for Pisces, but... Like, I'm partially on the home team. <laughs> Like, I'm on the Aries side of the uh, Pisces Aries cusp, but. Um, let's see. You hold the key to a new door. The key's to the door, but you're still chained to the past. You can't move on. It's like. You're holding yourself back. Actually, this door's open. I think this key might be to this handcuff, to this lock. But it's like you're so focused on the past, like what happened, what went wrong, that you're not letting yourself move forward. It's like you're beating yourself up way too hard right now. Like, take it easy on yourself, Pisces. Heal traumatic events. So, last time I saw this card, I'm like, okay, therapy might need, be needed. And you might need therapy, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. But I'm just kind of looking at this, and I'm like, okay, he's looking at a baby. Like, you might need to look at why you're hurting so much, because a lot of this pain probably isn't even close to current. It's probably childhood traumas. Like, just things that happen that are just fucked up, and you need to take time and heal them. And therapy might be your option here. Might be what you need to do. There's no shame in going to therapy. There's no shame in trying to better yourself, okay? So if you're just... Go to therapy and try to better yourself. Because... There's a lot of pain here. Just, I, I honestly hope you heal because there is pain in these two cards. And it's like why this isn't working because it's too painful, pretty much. 
take care of yourself, okay? Be the give. It's like I feel like that bird's a representation of yourself. You need to quit giving so much to other people because Pisces is a sign that's really giving to the point that they don't give to themselves. And if you drain yourself to the point where you're not giving to yourself at all, then you are giving kind of shittily to other people because you'll lash out. You'll, uh, because you're not feeling 100%, you will start lashing out and you take things out on people that you probably shouldn't be taking out. You know, so take time for yourself. Ace of Swords, feel like you already know that. Or you're acting like you already know that. You're like, I know all about my chaos in my life. Well, go after your fucking happiness then. Okay? Page of Swords. Wands. I don't know why I said swords. Um, you know what you want, and it's a new start. It's a fresh start. So start it. The Wheel of Fortune. Just get it started. Get that shit turning. And, you know. And don't let anyone take your energy away from you. Be you and be awesome. Okay. I think I'm done with this. Thank you guys for watching and have a great night.